Hey guys, the objective of this video is to solve harder support reaction problems. So the first one we're going to look at is just this problem we have right here. So what we have is we have some beam and it's being supported on its upper side by two supports. So this support here, A, is a roller support and this support here, B, is a pin support. Okay, so the first thing we're going to note is that this roller support here, A, can only provide a force in this direction from up to down. It can only provide a force that way. Because as you can see, if it was trying to pull back the other way, these, um, these rollers would come disconnected with the support and it actually couldn't provide any sort of any force. So that's, that's an important note. Uh, this support here B can provide an upward force or a downward force as a reaction. So we have two loadings on this beam. We have 130 kilonewton force acting at eight meters from A and four meters from B. And we have a five kilonewton per meter uniformly distributed load um, acting on the last two meters of the beam. So our first step in solving for the support reactions at A and B is going to be to draw our free body diagram. So what I've got here is I've just simply drawn in um, the reaction forces that we know exist. So for the first one, since it's a roller support, it doesn't have, it, o it only has a support in the Y direction, doesn't have a support in the X direction. Since the second one was a pin support, we have both a uh, reaction in the Y direction and a reaction in the X direction. And I've just drawn in the other external forces. What we're quickly going to do now is we're going to convert this UDL into a point load to make our analysis a little bit 